What's up, After Buzz? Abby Vega here at the London Hotel in West Hollywood for the premiere of Lifetime Surviving Compton, the biopic about Misha Lay and how her voice was silenced by some of Compton's biggest power players. That is until now. First of all, congratulations on the film. Thank you. My first question for you, were you aware of this side of the story at all before you were cast? I, I was not, unfortunately. I knew who Misha Lay was because of her music. And um, I know that they left her out. They mentioned her name a few times in the Strata Compton. But uh, I was not aware of, of this story. And it's a great story. And the uh, topic is very sensitive when you're dealing with uh, abuse and, you know, and violence. But uh, hopefully, this, this, I think this is going to be the best biopic that Lifetime has ever done, hopefully. Awesome. So we'll see, yeah. And DJ Yella is still alive. He is. Did you reach out to him or did you get to talk to him at all? I, I didn't. <laughs> I did not reach out to him. I didn't know how sensitive you know, he would have been to me doing that. So I kept it very professional. I just watched a lot of interviews he did, a lot of videos via YouTube and um, other interviews, and also listened to his music all the time. And how, how ironic, I actually auditioned for the first Strata Comedy for DJ Yella. But uh, I didn't get it. But it's all, co it's all good. And, uh, but, yeah, so I had to really embody him. And I'm a little bit taller, but that's okay, right? <laughs> that's okay. So my last question for you. A scale of 1 to 10, how much do you relate to DJ Yella? I mean, I'm going to say 10. You got to give it a 10. Yeah, got to, right? Awesome. I think everybody on this that was cast has to be a level 10 when they're embodying somebody else. So, especially with biopics, because it's so sensitive. Great answer. Well, congratulations again on the film and enjoy your night tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. After Bus TV. I love yes. you guys. <laughs>